first give an honor and glory to God who is ahead of my life. It is only because of him that I live, move, and have my being. Welcome back to my channel, you guys. This is Shantara. I pray that you are well, doing amazing, feeling amazing. Holding on to hope and faith, you guys. I always say that intro no matter how I'm feeling because I know in due time, I will once again be doing amazing and feeling amazing. But in the meantime, I'm going to just keep on speaking it until I think come to pass. So I have something on my heart that the Lord gave me. Um, it's been probably like two weeks ago, if I'm not mistaken. But just with everything that's going on, it's just been hard to kind of like get it out and put it out there. But I just wanted to say, I think the title is get, Stay Ready. Stay Ready. And I know I, I told y'all that I was, um, the Lord had me in Matthew chapter 25 while reading all of Matthew, right? And so in Matthew chapter 25, he was talking about the 10, the 10 virgins, right? And there were five wise virgins and five foolish virgin, virgins. And he also told me that you can be quote unquote doing everything that God is asking you to do and still be foolish. We have to understand that this is a, um, it's a heart posture situation. And it's also, the Bible says, and all by getting, getting understanding. So he also wants us to be wise and to understand what he's saying instead of just, oh, okay, I got to be a virgin. And okay, but what about everything else that comes with that? And so um, that's, that's one thing he said. He was like, you can follow all of my commands. You can do all what I'm asking you to do. And you can still be foolish or not have an understanding of what is really, um, what I'm really trying to say, right? Okay, so that was the first point. And then the second point was, um, okay, so the five, they all went and five of them took the extra oil and then the other five foolish virgins did not. And so chapter 25, verse eight says, and the foolish said unto the wise, give us of your oil for our lamps are gone out. But the wise answer saying, not so. Let it be, lest there be enough for us and you, but go you rather to them that sell and buy for yourselves. And while they went to buy, the bridegroom came and they that were ready, ready, went in with him to the marriage and the door was shut. The Lord is saying that help me father god deliver it the way you gave it to me he's saying he never wants us to give everything that we have that leaves us empty this message is definitely for me because i'm an all-in type person like i go all in i go all in for those that i love i go all in in my relationships i go whether i'm receiving back the same amount or not that's just who i am i go all in but what he's saying today is Never give all of what you have to where it leaves you empty. If there's not enough to give that leaves some for you and them, then the answer is to be no. Southwest plane coming down. We right behind the airport. There's never, you should never give all of what you have to somebody, something, a situation, anybody that leaves you empty. Lord, help me. But the wise answered and saying, no, not so. Unless there is enough for you and me, go yourselves to sell and buy for yourselves. And while they went to buy, the bridegroom came and they that were ready went in with him to the marriage and the door was shut. They that were ready is the ones who was able to sit in and, you know, with the Lord. So, I don't even know. This message is not coming out right. It's not coming out right. He's saying, be ready. Be ready. And if you're ready, there are times when we're not ready because we've given so much of ourselves, so much of all of who we are to other people that we didn't have nothing left. So now we have to go back and get more oil. 
you're gonna miss you can miss the opportunity while you going back to go refill while you're going back to go pour into yourself while you're going back to try to go figure it out you done gave everything that you had to somebody else a situation a circumstance your kids your mother your father your grandma your pastor your church you done gave all of what you've had and now it's time to go and you're not ready because you have to go get filled back up and this person is saying, you ask, oh, oh, give me some because my oil is about to run out. No, if it's not enough for me to have for myself and enough to give for you, then the answer is no. Then the answer is no, because I have to be ready. I have to stay ready at any time. God can come at any time. My miracle can manifest itself at any time. It could be time for me to move to another place or position or, or a higher authority. Anytime, it could be my time. So I have to be ready at all times. And Shantara, enough of you giving all of everything that you have to where you don't have nothing left. So now you're going back, speaking personally. Now I'm going back, trying to fill up and trying to get my oil and trying to prepare myself to be ready when I could have been wise enough to be ready already to have enough to still have some more in me because I didn't allow everybody to take 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 and have nothing to give now I'm getting ready when I could have been ready and so, you know, there's things that we have to pray about as far as our characteristics and as far as, yes, God still wants us to give and do for people and be loving and accepting and, you know, helping and all that. But if it has to come at, at the price of giving all that you have to where you have nothing left, the answer should most definitely be no. Because you have to stay ready is what he wants you to do. Stay ready. Stay with oil on you. Stay being anointed. Stay being full. Stay stay having enough energy and, you know, wisdom and knowledge to understand what is going on. Have enough discernment. Stay ready with discernment to know who's coming around you to steal from you, to take from you. Have enough discernment and wisdom and knowledge to understand, to say no when you feel like you're being depleted, the answer is no. And all by getting, getting understanding and understanding of who people are when they come into your lives, the discernment to know what to do, who to cut off, when to cut off, so that you're not depleted and you have to go back and get ready. You need to stay, we need to stay in a position to where we are always ready. We are always ready. Matthew chapter 25 is speaking of foolish and wisdom foolish and wisdom this person didn't say oh yeah here you go why would i give you the rest of my oil and it's, i'm not gonna have none for me why would i give you all of the rest of what i have so you can go and benefit and here i am left stuck shantara go and have to go fill back up because you've allowed everybody to take from you that's not wisdom baby that's not understanding my love and I know this message might seem basic or whatever, but for those who are attached to me and those in the season that you are in, we have to be mindful and, and set the boundaries and set the standards for our life to let people know that you cannot just come in and continue to take, 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 take from me because I have to be ready for where God is taking me. I have to stay ready. I have to be filled up. I have to have something in my cup. Mm. Y'all yeah, know when I get to spin, I have to keep oil in my cup. I have to have my lamp always lit for where God is taking me next. And if you've come to take, I cannot give you everything that I have and it leaves none for me. Like she said, okay, yeah, lest there be some for me and you, then that will be okay. If it's going to leave enough for me, if I give you some and it's still going to leave me some left, that's fine. But if I give to you to the point to where it's going to take everything from me, the answer is no. Because then I'm not ready. I have to stay ready. And that's, I think, the message. It took a little minute to get it out, how he had been giving it to me. But I am foolish. I have been foolish because of my nature, because of who I am, because of how I serve, because I'm a server. I serve. My passion is, you know, health care and taking care of the sick and the dying and hospice and, you know, people who can't take care. That's what I do. I love it so much, but my problem is you've been foolish enough to give so much out that you didn't have enough left for yourself. So now here I am going back 
trying to get filled back up am getting filled back up so that I can be ready for the mission ahead. So stay ready, be wise, and all by getting, get an understanding, have discernment, knowledge, and wisdom to know who's coming into your life, when to cut them off, when to stop them. Because people only come, the enemy only comes to kill, steal, and destroy. To kill, steal, and destroy. What you talking about? Your lamps don't went out and you're going to say, oh, give us, give us of your oil for our lamps have gone out. Girl, what? So this is what people come to do when they come into your life. Their lamps are already burnt out. They don't have any oil to give. They don't have nothing to share with anyone. They're dark. They're lonely. They're the energy vampires come to suck everything and come to live off of you. Give me your oil. I need your oil. I need your light. I need your glory. I need your anointing. If I can't give you some and have enough left for me, the answer is no. Because I have to stay ready. While they went to buy the bridegroom came and they that were ready went in with him to the marriage and the door was shut. I don't want to miss my opportunity when the Lord comes for me. I don't want to be so empty to where I don't have nothing to give and I'm left scrambling trying to go get and find my oil for my lamp because you done took everything from me. The devil is a liar. Be ready. Stay ready. We are still Psalms 23 for the rest of 23 and until the next time inspired be inspired i love you guys god bless you